Hi guys, going through my stock again. I've done quite a few videos on this fella. Um, a strand beast. I'm not pretending I know how to pronounce it. Um, Theo Janssen, I think. Apologise if I got the name wrong. But he builds these full size and they walk across the sand across the beach fascinating things um he's an artist and he builds lots of this sort of thing but you can get these on ebay and aliexpress and places like that these small kits i built this one quite a few years ago and i have got quite a few videos of it um usually when i take it out to demonstrate it the wind drops it doesn't need very much wind to make it go and you can see what happens. It walks along um, sideways, crab style. I have converted it to rubber band powered at one time. Put a rubber band motor along the top there and connected it all together. Uh, you see people make these twin motor radio control um, all sorts of things been done with them I was looking at it in my stock and I was wondering whether I could take the motor out of this thing which is solar powered which I can't demonstrate because there's no sun at this moment um, but yeah that drives these middle wheels if I pull it apart, so solar panel, direct drive to that motor, then through a series of gears to gear it down to give it plenty of power, it drives that one. So I was thinking of taking this apart because I've, I've done me videos with it. Um, the only other thing I could do is donate it to a charity shop. But I think I might take it apart and make use of that motor and that panel and just see if there's any way we can connect it up to directly drive that to drive it this all pushes together Now you can see the gearing in there now. So we've got the gear on the motor shaft, drives that wheel, uh, that gear, and then from that one it goes to a smaller gear that then drives that one. So the question is, can we get it apart, get the motor out, and see if we can drive this fella? And the answer is that comes out fairly easily. That's going to come off there fairly easily. A gentle persuasion, that's going to lift off of there. So there we are. So what's the easiest way to rig it up to work on there? And what I could do is just get the um, halogen light out just hold that on there and see if it's got enough power to drive it along right halogen light bulb oh yes that looks like that's gonna have plenty of power line it up 
Yeah. I think we might be on to a winner. So the question is, how are we going to line this up? That's just not going to fit at the moment in that position. It won't quite fit behind there. I could, of course, 3D print something just to stick it right out the front. Just so it lines up. So that means I don't have to modify anything. I just 3D print some sort of bracket. But we can mount that right the way on the front there. Something that'll clip on there, stick that out there. Yeah, it won't look quite original. Well, it'll be original to me, but it won't be the original design. Yeah, right. I'll do some 3D designing and see if we can mount it on there. It'll probably be unbalanced with that right out the front there. It'll probably still work. Right, that's my design for the motor mount. I probably need two hands to get it off there. Oh no, done it. Okay, I've printed it very thin. Well, we'll go and try it out, see if it fits. I've had to guess a few dimensions. Mm, need to clean that up, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Just want to see if this bit actually fits. Going to be very tight. Uh, that's my knife. <laughs> okay, is that going to go? It's in. Have I made that too tight? Oh, I have. I've made that too tight. I actually gave it uh, gave it a bit of extra. But I've still done it too tight because I I say too tight. It probably needs cleaning out a little bit. Let's see if this bit's actually going to fit up here which is equally important right, those bits should fit oh it's got a bit of hot glue on it from one of my previous projects so that's got to fit that way round on top of there Right, that fits. Um, yeah, just about. That's possibly. I could have gone another half a millimeter there. The clearance. But that's that's fitting on there, all right. So we can see the general idea. Is that going to come off again? Come on, come apart without breaking. Be nice. Right, I'll see if I can just open that hole up a little bit. 
so that that's got a bit more freedom. Right, I used my hot nail to melt the PLA a bit to make a better fit, adjust it a bit. So now, a bit of artificial sunshine, and away we go. Solar powered. Oh, slipping. Still slipping. There we go. So that's the theory. I think I'll have to redesign it slightly to get my dimensions better. So we'll call this Mark 1. I am rather pleased with that, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to work at all. And as you can see, I haven't got it quite right. But we're pretty close. So, if I just pull that off. I mean, it was intended to be a tight fit, but I've made it a bit too tight. You might be able to see I've melted that. Used a hot nail, heated it up, just so I can push the PLA to one side, so it fits on a bit better. I need the motor to move that way by about one millimeter. I need to trim this wall just here by about one millimeter. It all needs to be that way a little bit. And these I need to widen it up a bit. So I can do that, and then it should all fit. And at the moment I'm just using blue tack to hold that in place. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.